Welcome back to Ranger Realm Studios, the ultimate hub for aspiring game developers. I'm Josh, and today we're diving into the very beginnings of your game development journey, installing Unreal Engine 5. Previously, we covered the history of Unreal Engine 5 and how far it has come. This game engine is so powerful, it's like having a Hollywood special effects studio on your home computer. But before you start crafting your next-gen video games, architectural visualizations, or cinematic masterpieces, you need to get it on your system. First things first. Let's talk about the system requirements. Your rig needs to be up for the task, right? So the minimum requirements on a Windows computer are going to be Windows 10, quad core Intel or AMD processor that's 2.5 GHz or faster, 8 GB of RAM, and any DirectX 11 or 12 compatible graphics card. Most modern day computers should be able to run the minimum requirements, but keep in mind that in order to fully utilize this powerful engine, you will need a pretty solid computer. The recommended requirements according to Epic Games is to have a Windows 10 64-bit operating system, a 6-core Xeon processor at 3.4 gigahertz, 64 gigs of RAM, 256 gigabytes of an SSD internal storage, and a 2 terabyte external storage. And then for your graphics card, they recommend going with the NVIDIA G4 RTX 2080. Naturally, if you have something better, it's always better. But these are the recommended settings to run Unreal Engine 5 at 1080p resolution with high settings. If you want to run Unreal Engine 5 at 4K resolution or with even higher settings, you will need a more powerful system. Now, let's get started. First, head on over to the official Unreal Engine website and click the download button on the far right corner. This will automatically download the Epic Games Launcher. Next, double click on the installer and follow the on-screen instructions and let the magic happen. Once installed, the Epic Games Launcher will most likely open by itself. If not, go ahead and open it and create an account if you haven't already or log in to an existing one. Then find the Unreal Engine tab and click on it. In the top, you'll find a toolbar with news, samples, the marketplace, your library and twin motion. To the far right, you'll be prompted to install Unreal Engine if you don't have it installed already. Since I already have it installed, I will click on library and from there I can add any additional engine versions simply by clicking plus and then the latest release is 5.3.1. For this video and our future videos, we will be working on the latest release of Unreal Engine today. After some long waiting, finally the moment you've been waiting for, go ahead and launch your first project. Due to this being your first time starting Unreal Engine 5, it'll probably take a little bit longer for everything to get loaded up. Once you launch Unreal Engine 5, It'll open up your Unreal Project Browser, which you will have several options at your disposal. You have recent projects that you've been working on, several game templates, if you're working on a film, video, or any kind of live events, architecture, automotive, productive design and manufacturing, or if you're just trying to work on some simulations. For our purposes today, and if you plan on following along in this tutorial series, we're going to be going to games. And then I always like going with the third person template first. I like seeing what I'm doing and where I'm going in my character and the way the camera handles is a little bit different as well. But if you're more experienced, go ahead, just start a blank project and have at it. You also have the first person template. Here's a little tidbit on what exactly you're going to be getting with it. But again, we're going to be going for third person. Then with your project defaults, you can choose whether or not you want to use blueprints, which is the visual scripting hosted by Unreal, or if you want to use C++ programming. For our intents and purposes, we're going to go with the blueprint print target platform it's going to be desktop you have the options between desktop and mobile quality presets so that's how do you want your assets to be and your models and the game scaling overall but if you go for mobile most likely you want to be going for a scalable quality we're going desktop then starter content this just enables several pre-installed models textures materials and various other things that the engine comes with by default and then if you want ray tracing enabled or not so if you want to use ray tracing because you have plans for it, go ahead and enable it. But we're going to leave everything standard the way it's supposed to be. Then choose a location where you want to save it. Name your project. For ours, we're going to name it my first Unreal project. And as you just saw, you can't add more than 20 letters. There we go. Then you hit the create button. Now we wait. Given that this is your first time starting Unreal Engine 5, it'll probably take a little bit longer. But if you've ran the engine before, it should be pretty quickly. And boom, there you go. Now I've created your first Unreal Engine 5 project. Are you ready to conquer worlds, shape landscapes, or tell interactive stories that captivate hearts and minds? So if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome content. Also, drop a comment below and tell us what your favorite genre or video game 
games is. Until next time, keep dreaming, keep building, and most importantly, keep playing. See you in the next video.